Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little hot chocolate slider and I've got a little funny story <laughs> to share with you, but I'm just going to show you how it opens. So ribbon slides off one end and out is the hot chocolate. So yeah, a little funny story for you. So the point in time I'm filming this, um, the UK is in lockdown as I guess probably most of the, the world is in lockdown as well. And uh, my lovely husband ran out of coffee. Now I'm an espresso girl, but he's a Nescafe original kind of guy. Ran out of coffee and I said, you're not going to the, you know, to the shop just for that. Please don't leave the house. And I thought, I know what I've got. I've got some leftover sachets of coffee. And in my drawers, just to my right hand side, I have what's known as inspiration drawer. Actually, I'm opening the wrong one. And in it, I've got all sorts of things that are teas, coffees, and more tea, and little chocolates, things like that. So all sorts of things that just live in this drawer just to my right hand side. So I went rummaging around and found him, I don't know, 20 or 30 of the individual single servings of coffee. And I was so excited and I realised they'd gone, they were best before 2017. Shared it on Instagram because I just thought it was funny and over on my business page. And lots of people said, no, he'll be fine. It's best before, not used by. But while I was rummaging around, I came across some of these hot chocolates, which are, as I showed you before, they're just in here. And let some of my boys have some. And I thought, yep, yeah, no problem. I've got more left. Only got the one left. So this one here. So I'm going to leave that out. But it was it was just, yeah, you know what? That would be lovely to put in the post to somebody. To somebody that you really want to see that you can't because you're in isolation. Or you're, you know, obviously because of everything that's happened. So I thought this would be quite a nice thing to do. And I wanted to use the Path of Petals paper. It's just lovely it really is very very nice nice paper nice it's just nice and <laughs> it's very thin so you get twice as much in the pack 24 sheets as opposed to 12 and i'm using it as six by six so you can make millions of these and you can just buy these from amazon that's where i get mine from anyway so all i'm doing is i'm running tear and tape down one side so that's six by six which is 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter centimeters so basically you just cut your piece of paper into four parts so that's there and i'm literally just wrapping as though i was wrapping a christmas gift except i'm not sticking down either end so i'm going to grab my little stapler that's the back and a couple of staples at the bottom, literally just to keep it closed. And then my slider, my hot chocolate's going to slide in there nicely. And although I used the blueberry bushel ribbon there, hint, it's all going to sell out quickly because that's going to be on the retiring list any day soon. Um, I wanted to show off the raspberry, the raspberry ripple. Oh, we haven't had raspberry ripple in seven years. Um, rich Razzleberry. <laughs> raspberry ripple does anybody remember raspberry ripple that was an in color so i wanted to use that color but i also wanted a slightly more delicate ribbon this time around so it's the scalloped lace trim very pretty and you can slide it around i'm just going to tuck that away okay now path of petals did i call this path of petals it's pressed petals not path of petals this is path of petals this is the stamp set and there's the most beautiful phrases on here so hoping you can find strength for today and peace in tomorrow your kindness touched my heart which is the one i've used here's to always finding joy in one another's laughter warmth in one another's embrace and love in one another's lives just lovely and the images here they're actually a little bit bigger in the stamp set themselves so they're just that little bit bigger I don't know which one to go for. I'm going to go with this one. That's the hoping you can find strength. So let me find a quite a big block because I want to be able to see through it. And it is photopolymer, so you can still see through. But okay, ink that up. And so I've got very vanilla cardstock here. Oops, 
that there. And then I'm going to take the floral part, another block. And what I'm going to try and do is get these big flowers. So it all nests together. So it's three step stamping. Um, so you put the leaves down, then you put the little filigree bits, and then you put the flowers. I just want the flowers. And I'm going to do my best. So I want to get them all caught up in there so that I've got this nice little cluster off one side. Okay. I'm going to grab my trimmer. And all I'm doing is I'm just... I just wanted a rough size, didn't need to be exact, never needs to be exact. <sighs> I'm going to get some Wink of Stella and just bleed these colours around a little bit. This is a very new Wink of Stella. And that's just smushed those colours around a little bit and give it a bit, given it a bit of a shimmer too. A couple of dimensionals on there. And that, in an envelope, would be lovely mailed to somebody, just so they know you're thinking of them. Maybe a little bit straighter. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.